what you're looking at here are power check battery modules. They shuttle power between neighboring cells that are in a long series to help balance out a pack so that they don't have any weak or high batteries in the pack. Um, this keeps them all the same voltage which is very helpful in uh, uh, lead acid batteries since that's an easy indicator of uh, how much uh, capacitance is left in the battery. Uh, the blinking lights mean, are meaning that they are shuttling power uh, between neighboring cells. These work between two batteries, so it compares the two. Whichever one has the higher voltage will take a little bit of power from it, then dump its uh, energy into the neighboring battery. That's how it uh, shuttles its power back and forth, balancing out uh, the neighboring cells. On this pack, uh, it's a little bit newer, it's only a year old. Um, the blinking lights only really happen during the charging phase, which is it's currently doing. It's just finishing up just now, and it will shut off shortly. Um, but uh, that's, that's the only time that I can really catch it blinking the lights, uh, showing that it's doing some work. On my older battery pack uh, that was uh, over four years old, well, it was actually blinking quite often. Um, after a ch during the charge, after the charge, not so much uh, after hours after the charge because it would be okay, but it was still blinking every once in a while. During a drive, after the drive, it, it was blinking quite often. Now, um, during the drive, it's blinking a little bit. Um, and after it rests for a little bit, after I'm at my destination, the blinking lights stop again, um, meaning that the battery's back into the balance. So, um, it worked very well with the lead acid batteries. Um, can't see as much of improvement on the newer batteries, but uh, I know that it does do improvements because on my old battery pack I did gain a couple extra miles uh, if the batteries have to sit long enough. You know, uh, example for sitting at work at uh, for nine hours, you know, with an hour-long lunch, it uh, balanced out the battery pack again to give me more mileage. You essentially need uh, one uh, power check module between every two batteries. Uh, when the batteries are in a long series, you need however batteries you have, uh, you say 10 batteries, you're going to need 9 modules. So one less module per battery. Um, they're no longer produced, um, but uh, you can still get them if you watch online and uh, some sales and auctions. But uh, they're kind of expensive uh, if you were bought, to buy them brand new. Um, they were about 60 bucks a piece. So you multiply that by 10 and that's $600 just for uh, a ba balancing system but compared to some of these other balancing systems for uh, lithiums that's kind of a drop in the bucket but it's still kind of expensive you know in, in that fact but because uh, you know that's, that's half of a battery pack if you're buying a new one so that could uh, buy you quite a few replacements um, uh, if, you, if you notice on the uh, modules themselves on the bottom side, the three wires are the positive of one and the negative of the next and the, and the jumper in between for the batteries. I ran them in through a little bridge uh, so I can use less connections uh, on a lot of modules. So it's kind of a multi to one uh, little bridge there. And those red cables come down and they go to various jumper spots inside the battery pack uh, making the connections. Got the handful set in the back for the back half of the battery pack. And if you can see that here's a little tap for the batteries tapped for the power check modules. And I do come right off of a fuse. It's very important. There's my little fuse right there. Very important to have the fuse very close to the batteries. Just in case you do cross any lines at the other end, they will blow that fuse right at the, the battery terminal. And I have a handful more on the front end. I probably should have came around the other way. And you can see this one up here. Fewer batteries up front, so I have fewer modules. As you see, only two are really working, shuttling the power. That last one's not really shuttling any power. It's just sitting there running, waiting. But again, this one just has little taps on the battery with the fuse very close, shuttling the power back and forth, creating a balanced battery pack.
have my mounted up on a little display board to make everything nice and pretty since uh, I do show the car quite often at different events. But uh, probably one of the nicer things I've uh, purchased on my old battery pack, um, it really did help extend the life of that uh, battery pack for quite a while. Uh, of course, they're not ever going to save uh, having to replace the battery pack. It, all it's going to do is extend its life. Um, supposedly, the longer you have it on the batteries, the better it keeps them balanced and, and less wear and tear on the battery. So it should extend the life uh, for a little bit, but it, you know, ultimately you're still having to replace batteries. And they're going to wear out no matter what. But uh, that's kind of... Uh, a little review of what a power check module does and how it's doing its balancing and how it uh, determines how to uh, which battery is a stronger one and how it moves it. So, hope you enjoyed the little video.